सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमस्मताचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणालीं कृणालीं नमाय भगवत्पा शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मी मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्यादिहालक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहनोग्रहत सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाशावे ओं शांचाशाशाति ओं यो ब्रह्मांड जातिपुरुदाश्च प्रहिणोति तस्म तगुंह दिवत्मुद्धि प्रकाश मोक्षिवे शरणम प्रपद्ये ओं शांचाशाशाति आमनाते संसिध्यमाजित आनंदघन आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे अवसर संगति दिशेष निर्विशेष मीनिंग इज निर्विशेष तम पदार्थ मीनिंग थ्रू लक्षण यू लैंड ऑन वॉट इज दिस तम पदार्थ मीनिंग जीवा हु इज फ्री फ्रॉम दि उपाधीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ संसारित्व हु इज फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल दि अवस्था सर्वावस्था विनिर्मुक्त निर्विशेष हैविंग लैंडेड ऑन दैट देन अवसरा इज टू लैंड ऑन वॉट दि तत्पद सो तत्पद इज इंक्वाइर्ड इन टू नेक्स्ट देर फोर That is one avasar sangati. So, uh, udeshatve na tampadartha is known, and vidhyatve na tatpadartha is being inquired into next. Then the next sangati, uh, avantar sangati, secondary sangati is given as as to what murch murcha avastha has been seen to have viruddha shushupti and marana avastha ubhaya dharma vatto murcha. avastha has dharmas of shushupti as well as marana which are opposed to each other similarly this brahma also which is the meaning of tatpada can be savishesha as well as nirvishesha simultaneously although there are viruddha dharmas this is the objection by the purva pakshi or a uh, presentation by the purva pakshi as to what this brahma is it can be savishesha saguna and nirvishesha nirguna simultaneously there by this ubhay linga adikarana comes up with another sangati also as well this sutra there first sutra there is na sthanato api parasyo bhaling ubhay lingam sarvatra hi na sthanato api parasyo ubhay lingam sarvatra hi the uh, sutrakara bhagwan sutrakara says considering upadi na sthanatah api parasya ubhay lingam सर्वत्र ही सो वॉट इट मीन्स इज स्थानत अभी न स्थानत मीनिंग यू कन्सिडर उपाधीज उपाधिस्थान एंड विद दि उपाधिस्थान ऑल्सो ब्रह्म के नॉट बी तत्वत सगुण एंड निर्गुण बोत परस्य परस्य उभयिंग न स्थानत अभी परस्य ब्रह्मण परब्रह्मण परमात्म उभयिंग नास्ती न संभवती मीनिंग उपाधित अभी कंसिडरिंग दि उपाधि ऑफ सर्वज्ञत्व सृष्टिकर्तृत्व कर्मफलदातृत्व एक्सेट्रा एज सीन इन ईश्वर दोज आर उपाधीज उपाधिधर्म एंड कंसिडरिंग दि उपाधिधर्म ऑलसो इट विल नॉट एक्चुअली चेंज निर्गुण ब्रह्म इंटू सगुण ब्रह्म दैट इज मीनिंग सो वस्तुत उभयिंग न संभवती इट कैन नॉट बी सगुण एंड निर्गुण together even if you consider upadis because what is upadhi krita is kalpita it, it is not going to affect the reality of brahma which is going to remain nirguna with upadhi sagunatva also does not mean vastutah sagunatva nirguna brahma will remain nirguna even with upadis even while having upadis that is the meaning here therefore parasya parmatmanah ubhailingam na sambhavati nasti स्थानी उपाधि उपाधि ऑल्सो 
ವಾಯ್ಸು ಹಿ ಯಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಕಾರಣಾತ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಯಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಕಾರಣ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ವೇದಾಂತೇಶು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣತ್ವ ಕಥನಾತ್ ಏಕರೂಪ ಕಥನಾತ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣತ್ವೇನ ಏಕರೂಪ ಕಥನಾತ್ ಆಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರುತೀಸ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೆವರ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸಗುಣ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಲೋನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸೂತ್ರಾರ್ಥ ಅತ್ರ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷೇ ದ್ವಿರೂಪಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಧ್ಯೇಯಂ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಏವ ಇದು ಫಲಭೇದ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಲ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಬೈ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇಂದ್ರ ಸೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಅತ್ರ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷೆ ಫಲ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಫಲ ಈಸ್ ದ್ವಿರೂಪಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ವಿರೂಪಂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಗುಣ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಸೇಜ್ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅತ್ರ ಸರ್ವಕಾಮ ಸರ್ವಗಂಧ ಸರ್ವರಸ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಸವಿಶೇಷತ್ವ ಶ್ರೂಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಆಟ್ ಶ್ರುತೀಸ್ ಸರ್ವ ಸರ್ವಕಾಮ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೌರೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಸಗುಣ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸರ್ವಕಾಮ ಸರ್ವಕಾಮ ಕಾಮ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ವಿಶೇಷ ಆರ್ ಗುಣ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಸಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸರ್ವಗಂಧ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಗಂಧಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸರ್ವರಸ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ರಸ ರಸ ಈಸ್ ಆನಂದ ರಸೋ ವೈಸ ಸೇಸ್ ತೈತ್ರಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಸೊ ರಸೋ ವೈಸ ಆನಂದ ರೂಪ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಆನಂದ ರೂಪ ಆಲ್ ಆನಂದ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆನಂದ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆನಂದ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ರಸ ರಸಾತ್ಮಕ ಆನಂದ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಗುಣ ಆರ್ ವಿಶೇಷ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗಂಧಾತ್ಮಕ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಸಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಮಾತ್ಮಕ ಸರ್ವಕಾಮಾತ್ಮಕ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಗುಣ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಸವಿಶೇಷತ್ವ ಶ್ರೂಯತೆ ಸವಿಶೇಷತ್ವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಹಭೌರಿ ವಿಶೇಷೈ ಸಹ ವರ್ತತೆ ಸವಿಶೇಷ ಸವಿಶೇಷ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆರ್ ಸವಿಶೇಷಕ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸವಿಶೇಷತ್ವ ದೇರ್ ಫುರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಸವಿಶೇಷ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ ಭಾವ ಸವಿಶೇಷತ್ವ ಸೊ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸವಿಶೇಷ ಥ್ರೂ ಸರ್ವಕಾಮ ಸರ್ವಗಂಧ ಸರ್ವರಸ ಶ್ರುತಿ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣತ್ವ ಈಸ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಶ್ರುತೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಅಸ್ತೂಲ ಮನುಣು ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷತ್ವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅಸ್ತೂಲ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಅನಣು ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಟಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಧರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಿಗೇಟೆಡ್ ನೀತಿ ನೀತಿ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ವೇರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ಧರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್
उभय शुच्य अनुरोधात उभय रूपम ब्रह्म उच एक रूपम सो नाउ वेदर ब्रह्म इज उभय रूप हैज बोथ निर्विशेष एंड सविशेष और इज निर्विशेष और सविशेष और यू कैन से हैज सविशेषत्व एंड निर्विशेषत्व टाइप्स और फॉर्म्स सो वेदर ब्रह्म इज उभय रूप और इज एक रूप इफ एक रूप देन निर्गुण और सगुण सविशेष और निर्विशेष एक रूपम सविशेष निर्विशेष संदेह सो नाउ यू हैव टू पॉसिबिलिटीज वन इज दैट श्रुति सेज दैट सर्वकाम सर्वगंध सर्व रस देर फोर सगुणत्व इज प्राप्त फॉर ब्रह्म देन अस्तूल मनु निगेट्स दी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स These are all just examples. Therefore, nirgunatto is prapta. So, since both are prapta, you accept both and say that ubhay rupa Brahma. Or you say ek rupa. If you say ek rupa, then again two possibilities: whether it is sarva kama, sarva ganda, sarva rasa is the tatpareya, or astula manuno is the tatpareya. If you take the former, then you will get the savishesha Brahma as the tatpareya vishya. And if you take the latter types of shrutis, then you will get the nirvishesha Brahma as the ek rupa. ब्रह्म सो एक रूपमी इफ इट इज ऑफ वन टाइप ओनली ब्रह्म इज ओनली एक रूप देन यू हैव टू मेंशन वेदर इट इज सविशेष और निर्विशेष टू दैट द पूर्व पक्षी सेज वी डोंट नीड टू गो इन टू दी सेकेंड क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दैट सेकेंड पॉसिबिलिटी इज ओनली इफ ब्रह्म इज एक रूप वेर एज ब्रह्म इज नॉट एक रूप इज द्विरूप और उभय रूप द्विरूपम पूर्व पक्ष पूर्व पक्षी सेज बोध श्रुति इज आर इक्वली वैलिड एंड देर फोर You have to take Brahma as saguna as well as nirguna. Siddhanta stu. Siddhanti says na tavat parasya Brahma na ubhay lingam ubhay rupatto sambhati. Ubhay lingam means ubhay rupatto. Nirvishesh and savishesh atva together is not possible in the same Brahma. Brahma cannot be savishesh and nirvishesh at the same time at in in reality. Meaning at the same level of reality. Brahma cannot be nirguna as well as saguna because of what? Because of viroda. Simple reason is viroda. You cannot have opposing characteristics together. Satya se vastu na dwayi rupya ayoga. Because satya vastu, in its very reality, any vastu, anything which is existent cannot be having two rupas. It has to be only of one type. It cannot have a second. ऑपोजिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक नहीं एक वस्तु नहीं एक वस्तु एक अभावच्च दृष्टम वेन यू आर सेंग निर्गुण मीन्स गुणाज आर नॉट देर और विशेष आर नॉट देर निर्विशेष यू के नॉट सी इट हेज विशेष ऑल्सो एंड डज नॉट हैव विशेष ऑल्सो मीनिंग विशेष एंड विशेष अभाव के नॉट बी टुगेदर इन दी सेम वस्तु सो नहीं एक वस्तु एक तद्वत मीनिंग विशेषवत एंड तदभावत च मीनिंग तदेर इज विशेष सो विशेष अभाव वच्च मीन्स निर्विशेष सो इट के नॉट बी सविशेष एंड निर्विशेष एट दी सेम टाइम बिकॉज विशेष एंड विशेष अभाव आर कॉन्ट्राडिक्टेड टू इच अदर यू के नॉट हैव दैट कैंड ऑफ अ वस्तु इट इज नॉट सीन न ही दृष्ट लोक न दृष्ट शास्त्र न दृष्ट एक मूर्छावस्था दृष्टांत वैलक्षण्या निरस्ता सो दि पूर्वपक्षी सेंग दैट मूर्छावस्था इज एन एक्सापल देर where you have shushupti and mrityu which has opposing characteristics together because one wakes up from shushupti whereas one does not wake up from mrityu these are virodha dharmas together to that the siddhanti says no that's a vailakshanya that example won't fit in here because there we are taking at ardha shushupti because only half the characteristics are matching there is no one on one mapping at all shushupti and marana also has overlap in shushupti also one is where the mind is resolved and in uh, mrityu also there is no mind so we are not looking at opposite characteristics and saying that shushupti and mrityu together exist in the same avastha murcha avastha we are comparing similarities and based on those similarities we are saying that it appears to be that kind of a state There is nothing together there, so it's a vilakshanya. That example is not fitting here. Thereby, nirasta that objection or that kind of a 
comparison whereby you claim Brahma also to be of two types, that is not possible, that is uh, countered, nirastha, napi sthanata. So if you say that, okay, then uh, uh, taking upadhi, you consider that Brahma is changing its reality because upadhi dharmas will become Brahma dharmas and thereby nirvishesha Brahma will become savishesha when upadhis are there. Therefore, nirguna Brahma will also be saguna. Tattvata in reality, that is not possible. Napi sthanata upadita ubhai rupatvam tattvikam yuktam. Ubhai rupatvam, if you say it is mithya, then we agree. Meaning it appears to have both dharmas. While being nirguna, it appears to be saguna, we say okay. Appearance is different from actually being so. It appears so, we say, we agree because that is the Siddhanta itself. So, ubhai rupatvam tattvikam nasti. This is where we have Virodha even with Vedantins who are Ekadeshis, who say that there is Vastavika Bandha and it will go away by Sadhana and Vastavika Aikya will be Prapta. So Saguna, real Saguna Jiva will become Nirguna Brahma in Moksha. In Samsara is Saguna. That we do not agree with because Tattva, any reality cannot change. Swarupa can never change. So, Nirgunatva has to be Swarupa and Sagunatva has to be a mere appearance. It should be a Maya Karya, Avidya Karya. Thereby, Tattvika Mubhai Rupatva Na Uktam, Na Yuktam, Napi, Napi Yuktam. In the case of Upadhi also, we say in reality Brahma has not given up its, uh, has not taken up dharmas, has not given up its Nirgunatva, Nirvisheshatva, has not really taken the dharmas, appears to have taken dharmas of the upadis agni sanyoga matrena jalastha ushnasya tatsvabhavatva adarshanat example given by siddhanti is you take the agni as upadi for jala so when the jala which is otherwise cold is heated in the presence of agni what happens jala becomes can become boiling hot also and thereby it borrows the property of heat from Agni only when Agni Sanyoga or its effect is continuing. But in reality, has the Jala's Dharma changed? Jala will never be hot at all. Water is hot only by Agni Sanyoga. Otherwise, even Agni Sanyoga cannot change. Just because you have boiled water, the water after cooling down will not be hot. It will retain its original property all the time. Heat is only an upadhi which will go away just by bringing Agni. It is not going to change the characteristics of Jala proper. Meaning, even if you take away Agni, it is not that Jala has become hot. It will be appear to be hot because of Agni Sanyoga continuing. Agni is present in the form that we cannot see in that jala where as long as water appears to be hot, it is only because that invisible Agni which is present in the jala. Agni Tattva is still there. Although you take away Agni, Agni Tattva will remain to be there affecting the jala, but Tattvika Jala will not change, meaning Jala by Swarupa will not become hot. Because once this Agni Sanyoga, presence of Agni goes away, then Jala will remain Jala meaning it, it has never changed to hot water, it will always be cold water. So thereby the example is given to counter this Puru Pakshi Agni Sanyoga Matrena. Just because Agni Sanyoga is there, therefore Jalastha Ushnasya Tat Swabhavatva Adarshanat. Jalastha Ushnatvam does not become Swabhava of, the, of, jala, uh, of Jala, it, it is just an Upadhi and Upadhi does not change the Jala Dharma proper. Ataha Eka Rupatva Mea Brahmana. Similarly, Brahma also has Eka Rupatva. Now this Eka Rupatva is Nirguna or Saguna. For that, Shruti is Pramana Sarvatra, he has been said. So he, Yasmat Karanat, Sarvatra, Sarveshu Vedanteshu, Ashabdam, Asparsham, Arupa, Mityadi, Brahma Pareshu, Savisheshatva, Nirasanena, 
निर्विशेषम एव एक रूपम ब्रह्म उपदिश्यते इत्यर्था सो दी ब्रह्म तत्व इज निर्विशेष इन रियालिटी इट कैनॉट हैव एनी विशेष धर्म गुण देर फोर अशब्द ब्रह्म इज अशब्द अस्पर्श ब्रह्म डज नॉट हैव स्पर्श अरूप डज नॉट हैव रूप इत्यादि इज आर उपलक्षण फॉर एनी धर्म एनी गुण एनी विशेष देर फोर एवरीवेर इन वेदांत तात्पर्य इज अशब्द अस्पर्श अरूप ब्रह्म इत्यादि ब्रह्म परेशु विचार गिविंग द लक्षण ऑफ ब्रह्म सविशेषत्व निरासेन बाय टेकिंग अ विशेष बिकॉज अ नंज एवरीवेर अशब्द अ इज देयर दैट इज नंज इन अस्पर्श ऑल्सो अ नंज इन अरूप अरूप ऑल्सो अ इज नंज सो सविशेष शब्द स्पर्श रूप विशेष निरास निरास हैज बीन डन इट हैज बीन टेकन अवे बाय नंज सो सविशेषत्व निरासेन व्हाट यू लैंड ऑन इज व्हेन ऑल विशेष आर काउंटेड देन ब्रह्म इज ब्रह्म स्टैंड्स इन ऑल इट्स ग्लोरी एज निर्विशेष निर्विशेषम एव एंड एक रूपम देयर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एनी विशेष इट इज ओनली ऑफ वन टाइप इट इज एकमेवा द्वितीय ब्रह्म एंड इट इज निर्विशेष निर्गुण ब्रह्म उपदिश्य इट इज टॉट इन ऑल वेदांत वाक्य सर्वेश वेदांत इतना इन कंटिन्यूंग देर इज नो संगति हियर बिकॉज मल्टीपल थिंग्स आर बीइंग सेड इन दी सेम अधिकरण इन दी बैकग्राउंड ऑफ दी पूर्व पक्ष एज प्रेजेंटेड न भेदादिति चेन न प्रत्येक अतद्वचनात न भेदादिति चेन न प्रत्येक अतद्वचनात सो पूर्व पक्षी सेस नाउ न भेद चेत मीनिंग एक रूप ब्रह्म न वाय भेदाद न ब्रह्म एक रूपम न पूर्व पक्षी सेस वाय भेदाद हि सेतु इज भेदाद बिकॉज भेद हैज बीन शोन ब्रह्म भेदाद चेत इफ द पूर्व पक्षी इज वेर टू से सच अ थिंग देन न सिद्धांति काउंटर्स न वाय पदच्छेद इज न भेदाद चेत न प्रत्येक अतद्वचनात सो आंसर इज न नॉट सो दिस ऑब्जेक्शन इज नॉट वैलिड भेदाद हेतु विल नॉट स्टैंड ग्राउंड भेद कथनाथ भेद इज नॉट तात्पर्य विषय इट इज प्रत्येक इफ यू लुक एट इट अतद्वचनात प्रत्येक इन ईच एंड एवरी part of the vedanta shastra you will see only atad meaning abheda vachanat atad means not that not that bheda is being claimed bheda is he to bheda so bheda is the meaning of tat here the pronoun tat stands for bheda so atad means abheda abheda vachanat atad vachanat means abheda vachanat because pratyekam everywhere you see sarveshu vedanteshu pratyekam अतद्वचनात अभेद वचनात तात्पर्य इज अभेद थ्रू भेद भेद इज टेकन फॉर ग्रांटेड बाय दी श्रुति फ्रॉम लौकिका पर्स्पेक्टिव बिकॉज यू वी आर ऑल बॉर्न विथ भेद दोज हू आर टू बी टॉट अभेद जस्ट अ मियर स्टेटमेंट ऑफ अभेद विदाउट गिविंग एनी वैल्यू टू भेद विल नॉट वर्क देर फोर श्रुति डज हैंड होल्डिंग so bheda is accepted from the sadhaka's perspective and then abheda is taught so in bheda vakya also abheda is it tatparya so that is the sutra artha how so we'll see in the vritti nanu na nirvishesham eva brahma brahma is not nirvishesha only says the puro pakshi why savishesha is also taught kutaha bhedat puro pakshi says bhedat प्रतिविद्यम ब्रह्मण आकार भेदन भेद वे प्रतिविद्यम इन उपासना कांड यू सी ब्रह्म इज टॉट वेरियली विथ भेद नॉट एज अभेद ओनली अभेद श्रुति इज नॉट डिस्कार्डेड बाय दि पूर्व पक्षी इस इज अभेद श्रुति इज दे सो वी डू नॉट से ब्रह्म इज नॉट निर्गुण निर्विशेष वी से ब्रह्म इज निर्गुण ऑल्सो एंड सगुण ऑल्सो सो अभेद ऑल्सो एंड भेद ऑल्सो हाउ सो He says, "Pratividyam bhedat hetu is explained. Pratividyam meaning in each and every uh, in each and every vidya. Vidya there has the meaning of upasana. So pratividyam 
means vidyam vidyam prati so the samasa would be vidyam vidyam prati uh, unto each and every uh, vidya and vidya there is upasana in each and every upasana you see brahmana akara bhedena bheda the way the upasana is taught akara of the upasana uh, on brahma brahmakara is different in that upasana in each and every upasana you see there are differences what is the example there to that puru pakshi says kasyanchit vidyayam chatushpad brahma upadishyate brahma is said to be with four padas this has been seen in the first chapter also so chatushpad brahma brahma has four padas this is the upasana upadishyate that is how upasana is taught elsewhere kasyanchit kasyanchit vidyayam in some cases of upasana what is taught shodashakalam brahma is shodashakala meaning shodasha kalaha yasmin brahmani tad brahma shodasha kalam brahma that brahma is shodaksha kala which has 16 parts we have seen this part also which is uh, uh, in jnana kanda which is covered in jnana kanda also in chandogya shashto adhyaya to show that uh, how this mind is a product of anna meaning the subtlest part of the food becomes mind to that we have seen uh, how the father asks shweta ketu the teacher asks the student to have upasa for 15 days have water but do not eat food gross food and 16th day you will see the effect how the mind does not work we had seen the uh, shweta ketu chaturveda pandita is unable to recall even a single mantra from any of the vedas on the 16th day without food then he eats and then he knows he is able to recollect so there also 16 parts are there in brahma the 16th also goes away then this uh, sharira won't survive thereby this jivatma has been shown in the in shruti and in upasana kanda definitely shodasha kala also is taught brahma is having 16 parts this is how it is taught in chandogya itself earlier in the earlier upasana kandas it has been taught kasyanchit trilokya shariram vaishwana rakyam elsewhere what is the upasana upasana is on this brahma who is called as vaishwana vaishwana upasana how do you do it trilokya shariram one who has three lokas as his sharira that virat purusha vaishwana ra this is how you meditate upon brahma in gita also you see in the 11th 11th chapter vishwarupa darshana of course a limited way from whatever uh, you know uh, perspective of a human being is there uh, whatever human being can see based on that and some shastra influences there therefore a little more extension of that can be seen in uh, can be assumed in through shlokas one can kind of imagine as to what arjuna may have seen so it is said to be similar this vaishwana rakya upasana just a sampling it is not that vaishwana rakya upasana is exactly so but trilokya sharira one who has all the three lokas as sharira heaven becomes the head etc so tasma savishesham api shruti samarthya dhangi kartavyam iti chet puro pakshi says because of these shruti is where upasana is taught in various manners with bheda not abheda bheda and abheda also is there where uh, ahangra upasana is there upasana itself has abheda also so bheda abheda both are there in upasana kanda also tasma therefore savishesham api not nirvishesha only but savishesha also not savishesha only we are saying savishesha also nirvishesha also this is the nature of brahma shruti samarthya why because shruti says so angikartavyam one has to accept even siddhanti has to accept iti chetna siddhanti says no we need not accept that kind of a conclusion shruti samarchad if you say then shruti has to be understood mimamsa has to be done whenever there is contradiction this contradiction will not stand scrutiny because illogical cannot be the conclusion of analysis one cannot conclude in illogicality and say that yes shruti says so shruti may not appear logical but it should not even appear illogical it is illogical it is beyond logic 
बट वी हैव टू यूज लॉजिक इन सेंटेंस एनालिसिस टू लैंड ऑन द मीनिंग वेदर दैट मीनिंग इज लौकिक और अलौकिक वेदर इट मेक्स सेंस लॉजिकली इन लो का और नॉट इज इरिलेवेंट बट सेंटेंस एनालिसिस स्टूड शुड बी लॉजिकल द कंक्लूजन शुड नॉट अपोज लॉजिक देर फोर इट लॉजिक मे नॉट सपोर्ट इट इन द सेंस दैट लॉजिक इट मे नॉट अपियर टू बी लॉजिकल इन द इन इट्स फाइनल मीनिंग वी कैन नॉट से ओ लॉजिकली आई कैन प्रूव इट दैट दिस इज एक्जैक्टली द मीनिंग बाई सेंटेंस एनालिसिस यू कैन लैंड ऑन मीनिंग लॉजिकली यू कैन शो दैट सेंटेंस एनालिसिस सिंस दीज आर द सेंटेंसिस अवेलेबल दिस इज हाउ सम सेंटेंसिस शो तात्पर्य विषय देर फोर दिस ऑल्सो हैज टू मीन द सेम थिंग दिस इज हाउ वील लॉजिकली लैंड ऑन तात्पर्य विषय but that tatpare vishaya should be logical is not the case analysis should be logical analysis short should not be illogical the tatpare need not be logical it is beyond logic so to land on the conclusion we have to use logic and for that shruti is pramana all shrutis are pramana and shruti samarthya if you say we agree shruti samarthya is there but samarthya is not in savishesha also because that will become illogical to that we have to make an analysis mimamsa is to be used only when the literal meaning of each and every sentence does not land in the same end in conclusion if there are there is opposition contradiction then we have to reanalyze and that reanalysis is done through mimamsa so for that no Uh, the shruti samarthya also will not land you with savishesha also because savishesha and nirvishesha is not right to that siddhanti says uh, na and explains as to pratyekam pratyupadhi to that effect siddhanti says na pratyekam pr- meaning pratyupadhi atad vachanat if you look at it pratyekam means in each of these shrutis where you have given example of upasanas having bheda in all vedanta vakyas abheda is tatparya in upasana also abheda is tatparya through upasana on particular bhedas for particular phalas so pratyupadhi atad vachanat abheda vachanat even with that that upasana what is being taught is abheda finally how so yachaya masyam prithivyam tejo maya amrutamaya purushah you see इन सच सेक्शन ऑल्सो इत्यादि श्रुत ब्रह्मण सर्वोपाधिषु पृथिव्यपादिषु अभेद श्रवणादीत यू सी ओनली अभेद इवन इन दि भेद श्रुति हाउ सो पृथ्वी यू टेक पृथ्वी एज दि उपाधि एंड डू उपासन एज वन हु इज हैविंग पृथ्वी एज पार्ट ऑफ दि शरीर इन त्रैलोक्य उपासन वैश्वान उपासन देर ऑल्सो यू हेव पृथ्वी ऑल्सो एज पार्ट so yaschayam asyam prithivyam one who is in this very prithvi who has all these three lokas as a sharira so it is not the upasana of the sharira it is the upasana of the shariri who is that shariri that shariri is different from the prithvi ityadi swarga prithvi ityadi patala so yaschayam asyam prithivyam one who is in this very prithvi in this swarga ityadi tejomaya who is tejomaya who is lashtras will keep simple meaning exact meaning has to be seen under the mantra bhashya under such mantras but we'll stick to the tatpare vishaya and the uh, overall meaning so tejomaya ha literally means uh, the teja it can mean maya it can be vikar arthe or swarup arthe we'll say lashtras teja amrutamaya ha who is immortal in swarupa that purusha who is that everywhere who is there it is the same purusha who is antaryami brahma ityadi shrutau what you see is brahmana sarvopadishu who is there in prithvi all this is asyam prithviyam is just an upalakshana it will be covering everything where you can say idam this 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 in each and everything which you can point out as this what is there is that self effulgent purusha चैतन्य सच्चिदानंद ब्रह्म सर्वोपाधि पृथ्वी अबादिषु पृथ्वी एदर इट इज पृथ्वी जल इत्यादि पंचमहाभूतास और भौतिकास और लोकास और 
all the sharīras of the jīvas, what exists is this purusha, abheda śravana dityartha. It is the same purusha, purishete iti purusha, puranātva purusha. So purusha is derived with two meanings, two kinds of meanings, purishete, sharīre, in, in a city of multiple gates, nine gates, etc., in a human being or elsewhere if you take any other jīva also, city, city, who is present in the city of uh, well-gated cities. Indriyas are the gates there. So you can consider all shariras of all jivas having various gates for jnana, indriyas. In such shariras, one who is there is called as purusha. That is parabrahma. And second derivation is what? Purishete. The purishete is one. Purishete, one literally sleeps, but one who sleeps meaning one who is present. And uh, second mean is Puranat, because one who makes everything complete by lending Sat, Chit and Ananda, that is Purusha, who is present through and through. Isha Vasya Midham Sarvam is also Pramana there. Api Chaivam Eke, Api Chaivam Eke, next Sutra says Api Cha, Eke, Eke Shakhi Na, Api Cha. Also, some Shakhis, some who follows Ved Shakas, particular Ved Shakas, those Shakas say, they chant it in this manner because this is how it has been given to them from Ishwara onwards as Acharyas. So what is that? Those they say Murtyo Samrtyumapnoti Ya Ihanane Opashati Nehanana Stikinchana Ityevam Bheda Ninda Purvakam Abhedam Yo Brahmana Samamananti Chertha. So Apicha Apicha Evam Eke. In this manner, in this Abheda being the Tatparya. Other shakhas, Vedas also say, and therefore the shakhis chant in this manner, those who follow a particular Veda shakha, they say that Bheda cannot be there. You cannot have Savishesha Brahma with Bheda. Nirguna, Nirvishesha Brahma is the only Tatparya. Even in Upasanas, Nirguna is the Tatparya. Tatparya cannot be countered. The Tattva Vastuta, what is the Swarupa Brahma, will not change by just Upasana in one manner is taught or in many ways it has been taught by the same Shruti. Why? Because if that is the Tatpriya, then it should be considered as something which will lead to Punya or uh, Moksha. So Shruti which is actually committed to Moksha for all Jeevas cannot be giving you upasana which will bind as tatparya. It can give it for superficial needs being met so that one can overcome these difficulties and move on. Maybe not in this janma, in another janma. But as a tatparya vishay, it cannot be saying that, okay, in swarupa, there is abheda, you learn this do upasana in this manner and then you will get moksha. That is not possible because if it, that is the case, then there won't be ninda. Bheda ninda being done in other parts of the shrutis and bheda being taught in upasana as the complete reality, that is not agreeable. That is illogical. That, that shruti which is focused towards hita for everyone, That Shruti cannot be telling you something which is Nindita as Tatparya. So it says Mrityosa Mrityo Apnoti. One attains Saha, Kaha Saha, Yaha Iha Nana Iva Pashyati. That Nana also has been said as what? Nana Iva, not Nana. Nana Iva. Even if you see plurality in this Prapancha, it is as though seeing plurality because seeing plurality is not real. That's, that vision of re plurality is not a vision of reality. Therefore, Eva has been added by the Shruti. Even if the Shruti had said, Nana Pashyati Sa Mrityo Ho Mrityum Apnoti, that would, also, that would also have established what we are saying. But we are, we are saying that even when a person who is a samsari is seeing plurality in the Prapancha, Shruti says that he is seeing plurality as though. Even a samsari is seeing as though, let alone jnani. So what does it say? Yaha iha yasmin loke nana iva pashyati. 
सह मृत्यो हो मृत्यु मापनोती ही अटेन्स मृत्यु आफ्टर मृत्यु वन हु सीज प्लुरालिटी एज दो देर इज प्लुरालिटी ही अटेन्स मृत्यु आफ्टर मृत्यु हाउ कैन वन अटेन मृत्यु आफ्टर मृत्यु वन डाइज ओनली वंस इन दिस जन्म वन डाइज ओनली वंस बट देन देर विल बी अनदर जन्म अनदर मृत्यु अनदर जन्म यट अनदर मृत्यु एंड सो ऑन देर फोर वन रिमेन्स इन संसारा दैट इज द मीनिंग ही कंटिन्यूज फ्रॉम मृत्यु टू मृत्यु रिमेन्स इन संसारा दिस इज इन इन द नेक्स्ट इज नेह नाना किंचन देर इज डेफिनेटली नो प्लुरालिटी हियर वॉट सो एवर इन ब्रह्म इह अस्मिन ब्रह्मणी नाना किंचन नाना नास्ति नॉट इवन ए लिटिल नाना इज देर नॉट इवन ए लिटिल प्लुरालिटी इज देर मीनिंग वॉट इज लिटिल प्लुरालिटी ड्यूआलिटी इज ऑल्सो प्लुरालिटी लीडिंग टू इन इन संस्कृत यू हेव नीड एट लीस्ट थ्री टू मेक प्लूरल सो यू से थ्री आर नॉट देर एंड बाय सेंग किंचन मीनिंग नॉट इवन ए लिटिल मीनिंग not even duality there is no possibility of plurality because duality is also not there not even a little meaning you can say subtlety why subtlety you can see in sukshma avastha some duality is there no plurality is there no even in in sukshma avastha there is nothing let alone in gross so there is nothing at all even a little duality is not there therefore little pura plurality cannot be there भेद निंदा पूर्वक अभेदम ब्रह्मण सामनती सो वॉट दी श्रुति इज रियली वॉइस थ्रू भेद उपासना इज ऑलो टू लैंड ऑन अभेद बिकॉज भेद निंदा हेज बीन डन बिफोर शोइंग अभेद भेद निंदा हेज बीन डन सो भेद निंदा पूर्वक अभेदम सामनती सामनती श्रुति वेरी वेल शो दिस एस्टाब्लिश अभेद बाय डूइंग भेद निंदा बाय शोइंग दैट भेद इज फ्लॉड एंड अभेद इज दात्पर्य ननु सगुण निर्गुण परे श्रुति सती कथम निर्गुणे ब्रह्मणि पक्षपात तत्र पूर्वपक्षी से इज इफ बोथ सगुण एंड निर्गुण श्रुति बोथ टाइप्स ऑफ श्रुति आर अवेलेबल वाय डू यू फेवर विथ पार्शियलिटी ओनली दि निर्गुण ब्रह्म श्रुति पक्षपात वाय डू यू टेक् सच कण पार्शियल अप्रूव पार्शियलिटी अप्रोच ऑफ पार्शियलिटी फेवरेटिजम तत्रा टू दैट भगवान सूत्रकार से अरूपवदेव ही तत्प्रधान अरूपवदेव ही तत्प्रधान टू दैट भगवान सूत्रकार से अरूपवत एव ही अरूपवत एव ही तत्प्रधान बिकॉज इन निर्गुण श्रुति इज प्रधान तत्प्रधान निर्गुण श्रुति प्रधानवाद देर इज प्रधान देर दे आर प्रधान वेर एज दि निषेध श्रुति मीन निषेध श्रुति अभेद श्रुति इज प्रधान वेर एज भेद श्रुति इज नॉट प्रधान इट इज लीडिंग टू निर्गुण ब्रह्म ओनली इट इज लीडिंग टू अभेद ओनली बिकॉज इफ यू टेक सगुण एज प्रधान सविशेष ब्रह्म एज प्रधान देन यू कैनॉट एक्सप्लेन दि निर्विशेष श्रुति निर्गुण श्रुति But if you take nirguna as pradhana, then saguna shruti can be explained. Savisheshatva Brahma can be explained with upadhi. So thereby, uh, uh, these possibilities have to be considered in both kind of approaches. Meaning, if you take saguna as pradhana and then take nirguna as gauna, or nirguna as pradhana and take saguna as gauna, you have to look at the possibilities in. Mimamsa as to what will lead to interpreting all the shrutis in the same tatparya. So therefore, advaita alone will work. Abheda alone will work. No other uh, flavor of Vedanta will work because none of the Vedantins other than advaitins can explain all shrutis in, in the tatparya. Tatparya being abheda, advitiya, brahma alone. can allow interpretations of all types of shrutis because they are all with upadis and this is possible because only advaitin has explained considering shruti as pramana complete meaning uh, he has not taken any shruti as apramana has not included anything in the shruti misinterpreted it only advaitin can explain it because shruti is the only pramana nothing else is going to 
interfere with Shruti interpretation and Mimamsa will lead to Tatpare Vishaya whenever there is an apparent contradiction. And thereby considering multiple levels of reality as revealed by the Shruti itself, all statements can be understood as Gauna and Pradhana etc. Because Vyavaharika Satta and Parmartika Satta are not opposed to each other because they are two different realities, levels of realities. They are not same, they are not two different realities at the same level of realism. The reality is only one, but by Upadhi you can consider another level of reality, which is not at the same level. You give it, you know, some kind of a status which is acceptable in the Loka for Vyavahara. So empirical reality is not the Parmartika Satta, it is not the supreme reality, it is apparent reality. So by saying that something is apparent, something is completely unreal and something is something, not something, only one thing, that Brahmatma is the only thing which is really real, which has reality, everything else is, a, is appearing to be real, that has empirical reality for Vyavahara and what can never appear at all is unreal. So this is how one can have various levels of reality and in dream, if you want to differentiate the dream and Vyavaharika Satta, then that which can have Vyavahara but is countered in Vyavahara itself, that is called as, uh, it, it, is, uh, it is an apparent reality in that apparent reality, meaning which is in Vyavahara what appears to be real but in Vyavahara itself it, it does not stand scrutiny that is not at all real it is it is it is like a dream or it is Brahma it is not considered as Vastavika at all it is Brahma like Rajju Sarpaityadi or Swapna Prapancha so Swapna Prapancha because it is countered in Vyavahara therefore it will be called as uh, false so you will have a false which false level of reality which is not real at all. You cannot have false and real together. So it is which appears but is not and for transaction which is there appears and is con is continuing to be there that is Vyavaharika Satta and Parmartika is that will which will never go away in all the three periods of time and unreal anyway cannot be countered, uh, cannot be counted, need not be counted because it does not appear also. So that which is like Shashashrunga is set aside completely. So uh, we have Paramartika Satta, Vyavaharika Satta and Swapna or Brahma Satta is uh, Pratibhasika Satta. Using these three Sattas, Satta Trayam, Advaitin alone can interpret all sorts of Shrutis. Nobody other than Advaitin who has Tatpareya as anything other than Abheda can interpret that. Therefore, Arupavad Evahi Tat Pradhanatvat, Arupavat so Rupadihina Nirvishesha itself is the Tatparya Eva. So we are not being, you know, we are not having Pakshapata, we are not having partiality, we are saying that Shruti itself says that Nirguna is the Tatparya and Saguna is Gauna because Tat Pradhanatva, because Nirvishesha Brahma is Pradhana. We look at the Vritti in the next part, huh? uh, this is Sutrartha. आम्रायंतिक समसिद्धम आदि मध्यान तवर्जितम आनंद घनमा पूर्णम आत्मिक ज्योति रूपास में ही नमस्ते धन्यवाद नमस्ते धन्यवाद